guys, welcome to Recipes Tested. I'm Brianna Robinson and today I'm going to be trying the Moist Maker from Friends. So if you don't know this about me, Friends is probably my favorite TV show ever. And obviously, we've all heard about the Moist Maker. I've never tried it before, so we've got leftover turkey. I'm going to give it a shot. So throughout this video, I'm just going to show you the process of how it's made. And I got the recipe from the, um, the app. There's a Friends app on iOS. I don't know if it's available on Android, but it's the 25th anniversary edition of Friends. I just looked in App Store for Friends and it came up and I'm going to be following that recipe. But I'm just going to go throughout the process to show you guys how it's made based on the way the app says that it is. And I think we all know how it's made because that's what Ross says, but I'm going to go off the app. <laughs> so if you guys want to see how this recipe turns out, just keep watching and I'll get testing. The first thing I had to do was to make some more gravy because we ate ours all on Thanksgiving. So this is how to make gravy without like dripping. So I got about a tablespoon of butter and melted that down on medium heat in a little pot and then added in about a tablespoon of flour. And I've made this before. It tastes kind of like KFC, like mashed potato gravy. That's why I make this gravy, not graving. But anyway, you cook your flour down in the butter until it kind of smells like cooked pie crust. Um, 30 seconds is not long enough in my opinion. I need a good two, three minutes before I add in my stock. So that's what I'm doing here. I add in my water and my beef or my chicken. Concentrate, holy crap, I cannot think right now. Um, and cook that together until it gets all thickened. You can season with salt and pepper like I did a little bit. You don't have to, the concentrate has plenty of flavor. But once that was thickened to my liking, I went and got going on the sandwich. So I got my specific light mayonnaise as Joey says it makes his pants fit better so I got my mayonnaise and spread it on two of the three slices of plain white bread you can use any bread you like it says in the app my husband just loves the white bread for his sandwiches for lunch so that's what we use and then next I got going and adding my chicken turkey breast goodness gracious my turkey breast and I just kind of loaded it on both sides it didn't say specifically to do that um it just said do it however you want so i just did it and i seasoned with salt and pepper again because that's what i like to do and then once my gravy was in my little boat i put i decided to put it on both sides i already said that but that's what i decided to do this was a huge sandwich guys okay and being honest if i wasn't on camera i would have just dunked the bread in the gravy boat but I wanted it to look a little nicer so I spread it on but I didn't get enough gravy on my sandwich to really make it like a moist maker so if you're doing this just dunk it in no one's watching just do it it's okay it's totally fine <laughs> I think only eat the sandwich once a year so it's totally good and then I just put my other piece on top and this is what it looks like when it's done all right guys this is it I don't know why, but for some reason, I imagined it looking a little bit more glamorous. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm gonna give it a taste and see if it's love at first bite. I see why the dude threw it away now, because this is a massive sandwich. This is like a Big Mac. Mm. My face is so messy. Holy Toledo, don't eat this on camera. That's an incredible sandwich. I mean, I know that I'm not using the turkey gravy because we ate it all, but it's still really good. Um, the bread gets so incredibly wet that using up all the breast is going to be super easy because it's get, it gets more moist from all the gravy in there. I mean, I, I think this is going to be a new way that we make our leftover turkey sandwiches after Thanksgiving because it's easy. It's incredibly like innovative and classic. Is it, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? Awesome. Classic, symbolic, traditional Thanksgiving. When I think of Friends, I think of the Thanksgiving episodes and I just love this. And I'm so glad that after all these years of watching Friends that I decided to finally make the sandwich. 
But I'm gonna pivot my way out of here and go finish this sandwich. So thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe while you're here and leave a little thumbs up. I will see you guys with my next recipe video. Bye. Thank you.